And now this is Mara herself, and this is the first time we see her, and she's in what's basically an opium den, only it's an opium den that is serving up dimethyltryptamine through her navel. The navel, of course, being, you know, a part of uh, birth symbolism, and that's not how dimethyltryptamine is actually administered. Um, and I never took the toad DMT, which she's getting here. Uh, I took the form that came from ayahuasca, and... Um, it really changed my life. A lot of people say about DMT, you're not in it long enough to integrate, but uh, that's nonsense. You integrate DMT for years after the experience. Um, but you'll notice that from her navel, her navel is actually uh, not only the focal point, it's the it's, it's the, the perspective point, which everything leads down to, um, which, you know, has to do with birth and everything else. And then I just got her accoutrements, you know, throughout here. Um, so I really wanted to create this strange series where she's in this mutated world full of these mutated beings down at this level. There's humans on the upper level, but now she's down among the mutated beings who are running these DMT worlds. To be honest with you, I have a lot of questions about my anatomy, even though a lot of people think it's you know, really terrific, but I wonder if the arms too short or the feet too big, you know. Um, it's funny how incredibly judgmental we can be about our work. I remember talking to the great artist Jeff Jones and saying, you know, people like you, the gods, you don't understand what the rest of us go through. I mean, you just draw and paint and everything's brilliant, but, you know, though most of us have to struggle and erase and redraw things. And, and Jeffrey Jones laughed. I said, are you laughing at me or with me? And Jeff said both. And I said, well, what do you mean? And Jeff said, well, I've been painting this foot all morning. I painted over it 12 times. I said, Jeff, that's nonsense. Look at this painting on this in this book of yours. And Jeff flipped it open and said, oh, that one. I said, yeah, there's no layers of paint there. You can see the canvas underneath. And Jeff said, oh, that's because I kept wiping the paint off. So I started to realize that this process I was going through was really no different than what Jeff Jones went through, that the struggle's the same. And that's why on most of my desks, um, I have this saying, if it's good enough for Jeff Jones, it's good enough for you. Because at one point, Jeff looked at one of the pieces of mine that I really hated, and I said, God, I really like that head. And Jeff said, there's nothing wrong with that head. So that's become one of my mottos.